How do you tube? Um, it is just about two o'clock in the morning on, well, I guess if it's two o'clock in the morning, it'd be Thursday. I've woken up early and uh, started checking my comments and my Google AdSense and whatnot, doing some account management. And I keep reading the comments on my quick customer brake job repair. And uh, when I first started reading the comments, I wasn't going to say anything. I figured, you know what, most people will get it. But apparently, I need to explain myself here. Because I'm, I'm starting to get a little irritated with it. I've had comments that I should be a man and buy her brake lines for her or that uh, I'm trying to commit murder, or that, uh, what was the one, compression fittings are illegal, unsafe, and won't hold pressure, etc., etc., etc. The ones I don't get are that I'm trying to cause murder. Um, so maybe you guys should watch through the whole video, but I think I even said in there that it's not the right way to do it, and I'm full well aware of that. It's not the ideal fix. Okay, the reason that people don't or shouldn't use compression fittings is that the vast majority of the time, people don't do them right. Because when you put a compression fitting together, you've got to have it all the way together. You've got to have the ferrule on the line all the way, and most people stick it on there, screw the nut on, and go. Number two, compression fittings are used in hydraulic fittings. Um, they're used on, the, I mean, where there's thousands of pounds of pressure. They're used for injection lines. Um, they're used in a variety of applications that have a far higher pressure. That still doesn't make it right. But, I'll continue. As far as buying the right lines, it wasn't an option. We looked for the lines. You can't get them from the factory. We weren't able to find them in a junkyard, and we'd scoured for the last four months. Maybe I really should have qualified in the video that this whole fix started eight months ago, nine months ago, when there wasn't any snow on the ground, after the brake lines got cut. And we started looking for brake lines then because I knew that it should get new brake lines. I'm full well aware that it should have gotten new brake lines, but there wasn't new brake lines to be had. You can't get them. And as far as doing a double flare, no, I don't have the special tool to do a double flare. Nor do I really feel that I need to because it isn't my first rodeo. And you know what? Right or wrong, a compression fitting will hold, especially for a car that's supposed to go to the junkyard within the next three months anyways. Number four or five or whatever it is we're up to, I would far rather have a compression fitting on my car than have no brakes on a front wheel drive car on the ice. You want to talk about committing murder? No, committing murder would have been to allow the girl to go out and drive a front wheel drive car on the ice in the winter in Montana, which, and in Sydney, Montana, the traffic has gotten absolutely nuts. The growth is phenomenal, but that's a whole other story. But to allow her to, to drive in, in traffic like that, under circumstances like that, in a front wheel drive car with no brakes on the ice, I mean, give me a break. Which one's worse? Let's choose the worst of two evils instead of hollering and screaming about how I'm not doing the right fix because yeah I know it. and you guys know it the same way that I know it but it was an option and it was the option that I had at the time I had to go to the parts store put together what I could in order to make the best of what I had and that's what I did that's what I come up with and I'm not going to apologize for it because you know we're making the best of a bad situation Getting 
angry, which makes me flustered, but people have a tendency of jumping to conclusions or deciding the way a thing is before they'll before they actually know the whole story. And that's what a lot of people seemingly have done. So aside from when she needed the car now, she'd been borrowing a four-wheel drive so she could get around until I'd gotten settled in here and could do it for her. The brake lines are unavailable through GM or otherwise. And no, it's not a 98. That car is a 91 or two. Um, somebody mentioned the grill. It does have a different grill on it. That's a whole different story. Charlie Buhner could tell you more on that. <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody to do a fix that way. As a general rule, you don't cut a set of brake lines and, and flare them in. Or, uh, you don't cut a set of brake lines and, and use a compression fit them fitting to, to, to do, uh, to fix them. But, if you have to, in a pinch, it will work. Now, she also knows what I did. I told her, look, this is not right. It's not fixed perfectly. Be aware of it. Then she says, okay, you know, thank you for fixing my car. Thank you for letting me know. We did the best we could. Yes, I know it's not right. No, the parts are not available. So we do the next best thing. And compression fittings, they will hold pressure. And if you're gonna use compression fittings for a fix like this, then by, for the love of God, please do them right. As you're putting your compression fitting in, hold the line into place and screw the nut down at the same time. Otherwise your line can come back and your ferrule can go to the tip of your can go to the, the tip of your uh, of your line and actually end up pinching it off and then the compression fitting, the ferrule, will fall off of your line and the line will squirt out. So also if you're doing a compression fitting, use the uh, double flared end type. The the they'll uh, be like a like a bubble on either side instead of using the ones with a taper and a flat. And the reason you use the ones with the taper on either end of them is because it'll actually take that, that uh, tapered end on the one side and press it forward into the steel line. Also, and somebody mentioned it, never, ever, ever, no matter how hard up you are, do not ever use copper line on your uh, on your brake parts. Copper line cannot handle the pressure of brake lines and it will swell and it will burst and you will die. Or something along those lines. Um, at any rate, as opposed to trying to comment to everybody on there, this is my response. I will defend my fix given the circumstances and I'm not going to apologize for having done it. We did the best we could, and that's that. Oh, and as a side note to the guy who said I should be a man and buy the parts for, I did both buy those parts for, and no, I didn't get paid for that, for that work. So, yeah, buddy. Until another video, though, I guess this has been a, a bit of a teaser. We'll see you.